Hello, how we doing everybody? Matt Modi here with Odd Jam. And in this video, I'm just gonna give you my anytime touchdown score, best bets for tonight. So recording this Thursday, early Thursday morning for Thursday night football tonight between the Raiders and the Rams. Here to give you my anytime touchdown score bets. So on the Rams side of things, um, the reason why I'm starting with them, it's a little bit difficult to handicap because we don't even know who their quarterback is gonna be. So it's hard to look at the odds and find value without knowing that. Um, like John Wolford is questionable to start, but Baker Mayfield might get in and he literally just joined the team two days ago. So you wonder how much he could even do in 48 hours, which is insane. So the odds are a little bit wacky for this one. Uh, I have two for the Raiders that I really like. And then I have one for the Rams that I think regardless of the quarterback makes a lot of sense, just mostly based on the odds here. So we'll start with the Raiders first and I'm just going to go chalk. I'll stay, I'll, I'll stay it. Excuse me. Straight up. We're just going to go chalk here. We're actually going to parlay Devontae Adams and Josh Jacobs to score. They get 95%, not actually, but they get a ton of work with the offense. Devontae Adams gets all the targets. Josh Jacobs gets all the groundwork. So we figured why not over, why overcomplicate things? And why not just parlay the two best players to score? Devontae Adams in three or two of his last three games has gone over 140 yards. He has seven receptions, uh, seven, if not, or sorry, seven receptions or more in each of the last three games. And he scored four touchdowns in the last three games as well. He's been on fire. Obviously, that also coincides with the Raiders' three-game winning streak. And unfortunately, when I locked my play in earlier, I got it at minus 115 at Caesars, which was an insane value. Unfortunately, that has now been bet up. The best odds you are getting at Caesars are my, is at minus 140. So that's why I ended up turning this one into a parlay. I don't think it's worth um, taking those odds straight up at minus 140 because, I mean, he could get tackled at the one and not score, you know? So sacrificing the minus money for a player to score a touchdown, I don't think is worth the odds, but it is a pretty decent play. I mean, like we have BetMGM all the way at minus 200. We have DraftKings 25 cents higher at minus 165. So we're going to go ahead and um, take him in a parlay with Josh Jacobs. So if you want to find the best odds, all you need to do is just click this little dollar sign here to add to parlay. And then I, let me move my camera over and you will see why. So you see it's been added to my bet slips. So then we're going to go down and look at the Josh Jacobs one as well. So I looked at this on Caesars. It's currently um, blocked on Caesars for whatever reason. They just uh, ha have it blocked off to bet. Not sure why, but um, I'm guessing the best odds will be on Caesars. But either way, if you just click this add to parlay, it's added to your bet slip. And then if you look um, right now, the best odds we're getting plus 182 at points bet. That's pretty good. If you, um, if you're the, the time, by the time you are watching this, I would imagine the Caesars probably has their odds back up. So when you're going through the parlay builder yourself, make sure that you are um, obviously locking in the best odds. And then I'm going to put 50 bucks on this one. It's going to be a $50 wager. So to profit $141 or um, a payout of $141, which is pretty good. Um, I mean, Josh Jacobs, I don't really need to. Everybody that follows football knows how good a year he's been having. He's in a contract year, so they're just running him into the ground. They're not worried about keeping his legs fresh or anything like that. They're just running him straight into the ground. And he's been a phenomenal. I think he has 10 touchdowns on the year, and they still have five games left, I believe. And he has already has 10 touchdowns. So Josh Jacobs, Devontae Adams, getting pretty good value there. That makes the most sense. And then my play for the Rams, that is there's a pretty good value play, is Cam Akers to score as well. Again, on Caesars, this one is at plus 180. Look at Cam Akers compared to the rest of the betting markets, right? Betfred, plus 140. FanDuel, plus 150. DraftKings, plus 140. Points Bet, plus 150. And then BetMGM, who just has the worst odds. I mean, I don't know what BetMGM's doing. I don't know who in their right mind is pricing these anytime touchdown score odds. Like, look at the difference of BetMGM and the rest of the books, which is neither here nor there. It's just remarkably differently priced by BetMGM. And, you know, Cam Akers scored two touchdowns in their last game. He, he wasn't very efficient, but at least he's getting the um, plays at the goal line. The Rams did play the Seahawks tough. Now, I am skeptical that they'll be able to play this game as tough as they did the Seahawks because clearly Bob, uh, Bobby Wagner 
who plays for the Rams now, former Seahawks linebacker, had a lot of energy. They got up to play against a division rival, and I just think that's not energy you can necessarily replicate week over week when you're this much of an outmatched team. I mean, they're missing their entire team. Cup's out. Stafford's out. Aaron Donald's out. Uh, They're missing so many players. But regardless, the value here on Cam Akers is pretty good. I was just bashing the Rams. But the value here on Cam Akers is good. He's a uh, Whatever weirdness happened at the beginning of the year when they were trying to trade him and then benched him and he stepped away from the team, he's back. He's still not as efficient uh, as we'd like, but with the Rams' offensive line, that's tough. But if the uh, Rams do get close to the goal line, they're probably going to try and run it with Akers like they did last week when he scored twice. And the plus 180 value, that's what we're looking at here, right? 30 cent difference between the closest sports book. So this is going to be my anytime touchdown score for the Rams. So three plays or three players total, two plays, one parlay, one straight up. Uh, so if you're tailing, comment and let me know. Would love to hear it. Uh, but that's it. So enjoy the game tonight. Happy betting, happy watching, and good luck.